This video is going to show how to create a map legend using QGIS and first I got to make a map. Uh, I've got this Africa data loaded in that we've been working with. Uh, this is the default style that it gave me and I actually want to make a choropleth map here of population by country and then uh, put a legend on it. Uh, so first to symbolize it uh, I'm going to go to the properties and change this to uh, well, right now it's on single symbol, so all the countries are drawn the same. So I'm going to change it to graduated. And I'm going to base this on the column that holds the population. So that is the pop est field. And then um, I'm going to change the mode. It's equal interval. I'm going to put four classes on it and maybe change the color ramp here to something nice like uh, well, we could try this uh, purple one uh, actually I want one that doesn't have white as the lowest um, I think I was shooting for uh, let's try that I really like that red, red to purple um, and notice that it classified it for me using these classifications so this is the equal interval uh, there's equal amount of uh, range between uh, each of these numbers here However, these are kind of long, gnarly numbers with decimal points, which only makes sense for uh, calculating people. So I'm going to round these to a nice round number. And uh, what I'm going to do is just change the value here by double clicking. And we'll go up to 37 million. I don't know why there's a negative 99 as the lower value. There might be one that doesn't have any data. That's probably the most likely thing. But let's continue rounding. I'm going to round this to 75 million. Just make sure you don't leave any gaps in here where you could lose data. So the lowest on one class range needs to be the same as the highest on the adjacent class range. Uh, and then I'll just leave the lowest and highest here because what I'm going to do is go over in the legend area and uh, I'll type the text that I want to have appearing in the legend. So I want some user-friendly text here that says uh, fewer than uh, 37 million and I can just type this in plain English like, like I see here. Uh, I'm going to do 37 million to 75 million here. Maybe I'll just put a dash instead of the word 2. Uh, this will be 75 million to 112 million. Uh, the key is that over here on the right hand side I can type human readable stuff. Um, and let's say over 112 million. And we'll click apply, and now we've got our map uh, symbolized uh, appropriately. Uh, we can see that uh, by far Nigeria has the highest population. Um, now let's make a map layout, remembering the things we learned before. I'm going to go to a new print layout. We'll call this Africa population. I'm going to change the properties of this map to be a portrait orientation with a letter size, kind of like before in my previous demo. And let's stick the map in here, uh, whoops, using this button. Add a new map to the layout. And I'm going to use the same scale I even used in the other demo, so 40 million. And to center this, I'm going to choose this Move Item Content button and just get it centered like that. And uh, I'll click Add a New Legend to the layout and draw that box here and boom I've got kind of this automatic legend that appears based on all the stuff I set up before now I just want to do uh, uh, one little tweak here I don't like this uh, layer name showing up that's not very user-friendly it might confuse people it looks ugly um, so uh, I'm gonna uncheck this box to auto update the legend and that will give me some more control over the individual elements uh, then I'll highlight what I want to change here and I've got this added button here where I can uh, edit the text so uh, population or we'll say country population estimated or whatever I want to type here okay and then I can move this legend around and I have uh, you know a number of other options I can reorder stuff here by using these up and down arrows that might be nice to put the highest category on the top and you can go down and even change the fonts and stuff like that which I'm not going to do at this point but uh, now you can just see how to add a basic legend uh, into your map in QGIS. 